Voluma, Vobella, Sculptra. Restylane, the Restylane family. Radius, so. Bellatero. Yeah, there's so many out there. Let's talk about filler. Oh, my favorite, we? my favorite. So what, <laughs> what is filler? Tell us like the basics. What is filler and why do we use it? Anytime we are considering any technique with our patients, mm. we decide what deficits do we need to address mm. within their anatomy? A lot of times people come in, they tell us of a concern. We start with diagnosis and we talk about the five parts of aging, bone, muscle, skin, fat, connective tissue. We're looking to restore bone and fat. So if we are trying to reproduce bone, we're gonna use a more structural, mm -hmm. a harder filler. Yeah. If we're reproducing fat, we want a softer, mm. nicer filler. Yeah. So we really need to get to know the patient's anatomy, make mm -hmm. a proper diagnosis. Obviously, we're here for you to take care of you and we can offer that to you if you're able to come to this. Not everyone is. Yeah, and, and that's okay. I, I also think it's really important, besides going to somebody that knows what they're doing and they're listening to your concerns, they also make you feel comfortable and safe. And uh, they they work on you and they have a patient coordinator that works with you to figure out the best plan. Can I mention one other thing you're really good at, Lauren? Oh, is me? A patient Are we on camera? Yes. <laughs> a patient comes to you and they tell you, I need this. I want this done. Mm -hmm. Guess what you're really good at? She's good at saying, yes, we could do that, but do you know what's really gonna make you really happy and make you look really good? I, I know we're hammering it into you, but I am just here to help. And I, I know how to help because I know how to diagnose. So I know what a lot of people love when coming to Good Skin is that we use Vectra. And the Vectra is a 3D animated version of their face in top, bottom, side, side. So mm -hmm. essentially I could take somebody's photo put them with two of their right sides, two of their left sides. I could put them on a gray scale, look at bone and fat loss, but really figure out their asymmetries. And then from there, I can figure out the best strategy or plan on how to restore what's going on. Is it bone, fat, connective tissue? Um, and we but, take these photos every time our patients come yeah. in. So we're monitoring uh, their progress, how they're changing to make sure that we're happy with the changes and see what else we need to work on to make them even happier. We're very diligent about our, our patient's anatomy and the results. We use the most natural lighting possible. The way we did this is the founder, Lisa, yeah. um, got a Hollywood um, lighting professional who lights all the movie sets to set up the most natural light possible. And it's mimicking how you'd look if you were in Paris sitting at a cafe outdoor with your friends. Oh, I only wish I was there. And do you know what we get all the time from our patients when we put up their before and afters? <laughs> Can I take a picture of the screen? Yeah, always. Um, it's very natural. Yeah, and it, I don't it's hear. It's realistic. Yeah, and people never tell me like, oh, it only looks better because of light. I'm like, no. It, you know, people don't, I don't hear that because our lighting is the same from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. They just look better because they do look better. Yes, it's honest <laughs> is yeah. what it is. Yeah. We have a very low bruise rate. Ah, I love that. And we're able to very precisely place filler exactly where we want it for the best effect with the mm -hmm. filler. And the way that we do that is by using cannula technique. So a cannula is a very thin metal tube. We place it deep in the tissues using this cannula on the bone if we're recreating bone. Many times we're recreating fat, so we can kind of sandwich the ah. filler. Okay. Um, depending on where it needs to go. But it allows us um, to give a nice natural result with our filler. Yeah. And p our patients love it. Another thing that we do is our trusty vein finder. Um, one of the best tools we have in this office. One of the reasons that we have a very, very low bruise rate in our office. Now, how does this work? Uh, well, give me your hand mm -hmm. and I'll show you. It's really fun. You can actually hold this up and look at veins. And what we do in our office is if we're alone and we don't only have us, what I'll do is I'll mark out where the vein is and then I can put this down and know exactly where I need to poke to avoid the vein for either bruising and or complications. You know, it's actually extremely dangerous if you get filler in a vessel. So this is our trusty vein finder. The two most common techniques that we do here at Good Skin are restoring cheekbone, okay, which, and is the, bone. which is bone, and the under eyes, which is usually two different things, fat and or bone. So the two of them go hand in hand. Our cheek or our tacking technique, it's our signature treatment. It involves a structural filler. We're able to utilize the cannula, get the filler deep on bone underneath the muscle and the fat, and get lift and when we do that not only are we restoring bone but we're not compromising the way somebody moves and emotes 
but they leave even happier. They come in saying, yeah. I want my lips done, but we say to you, but if you just did this, yeah. and we do it, and they're happier than they would have been otherwise. Yeah, exactly. So we, we hope that you guys can get a version of good skin wherever you are. <laughs> this was your Filler 101. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Come see us because we want to meet you. Don't forget to leave your comments and see you soon. Thank you for joining us. Bye.